AZ Dawson S from MimetMethod.com, where you learn foreign languages by focusing on the sound, on pronunciation, actually mastering your speech instrument. And today I want to show you a very interesting application. It's called Pink Trombone. If you go to dood.al slash pink trombone, it is a barehanded speech synthesis application. Now, just in the name alone, pink trombone and barehanded speech synthesis, there's lots of associations being made here that I, that I find quite humorous. I'm sharing with you this application for two reasons. One is that if you actually learn how to play around with it, it could be quite educational in developing your um, understanding, awareness, and mastery of your speech instrument or of your pink trombone when you speak your language. Uh, but more importantly, I'm showing you this because I think it's freaking hilarious. Um, one of our students sent this into our, our email inbox and um, my support staff sent it to me. I'm like, what's this? And, and I click on it. <laughs> All right, so what's, what's going on here, right? Uh, <laughs> so as soon as I heard this the first time, I just burst out into laughter. I'm like, what is this? Just a weird wiggling piece of pink stuff. And this guy who's just moaning in ecstasy. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Uh, like, oh, this is actually quite cool. It's a uh, it's an interactive application for seeing how manipulating different parts of your mouth produce different sounds. Because after all, that's all speech is. You're just blowing air out of your face and making different sounds by reconfiguring your oral cavity, moving your tongue around, moving your, um, you know, your velum, your lips, allowing air to pass through your nose, all these different things that we cover in our course that no one really knows about unless you study it and you think, well, why would I study it? Well, once again, speech is made from your speech instrument. If you want to be a master of speech, you need to master your instrument. So your pink trombone is your instrument. And this uh, application is one way to help you develop a stronger awareness of it. However, if you don't already know the stuff we cover in our courses, then this is just a weird looking diagram to you. So I want to help you walk through it a bit. Um, this here, imagine if a samurai came and just like chopped me in half right down on my forehead and then use one of those kind of anime scenes where I'm like, Ugh! and then it kind of splits down like that. And then you have a lateral view of my face. And what you'd get is, this is the nasal cavity. My mouth is floating over here. And then this is my oral cavity, my mouth. This is my tongue, teeth, lips, um, and then the throat. And then the other thing you wanna pay attention to is this dangly thing here is called the velum. And now, this is what this diagram is abstractly representing. So let's see if we can make the connection here. So we see where it has lip and lip. So my lower lip is here and my upper lip is here. So this is your lip and lip right here. And what happens is when I click within this space, um, it moves the lower part, you know, the, the moving articulators to that point on the mouth. So I'll show you. If I wanna move my lower lip to my upper lip like this, buh, 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 I can do that on this application like this. Oh, this guy's voice is hilarious to me. It is hilarious. Ah! <laughs> Anyways, uh, you get my point. So I go ba 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 ba, and then that's how I get the uh, B sound, right? So if you once again know our program, you'll know the difference between a vowel and a consonant. A vowel is when airflow is allowed to flow freely from, you know, through the throat, out through the mouth, unobstructed. Whereas as soon as you move your tongue or your lips or anything else to obstruct that airflow, you're now in the realm of consonants. So when I move this lower lip up, ba ba ba, I'm making what's called a bilabial stop, ba. So I'm stopping air behind between my bilabials, my two lips, stopping airflow, ba. And that's what this, well, that's what this uh, application allows you to do. But I can also move my tongue. So I encourage you to go to this app and just start playing around and clicking around and see what happens to the voice when different manipulations of the mouth are made. 
So let's turn our friend on again. All right, cool. So another thing you'll notice here is um, we cover this once again in our courses is for a consonant sound, there are three things that determine, three features that determine, that distinguish one consonant sound from the next. And one of them is place. What place in your pink trombone are you, by the way, I don't use that term. I'm only using it here. Uh, if you want to use it, fine, but I just call it the speech organ. Um, but what place in your pink trombone are you playing the note? Where are you blocking the airflow? And you notice when I clicked around, it made different noises. When I click in the middle here, it's like, rah, 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 that gives you your R sound. And when I click here in the back, ga, 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 that gives you your G sound. G is made from the back of the tongue pressed up against a soft palate. So ga, 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 right? Um, so that's the place that it's made. But another thing that determines it is the manner of the blockage or how is it being blocked. So you saw here that if I block it completely so that air stops behind the tongue, I have what's called a stop consonant and then airflow stop because there's no way for it to go. It just goes like that. But if I open it just a little bit, you get that. That's the fricative sound. So you see how it's and it kind of opens up. So when I make that, that's the, it's called a voiceless velar fricative. You get it in um, Spanish and words like Javier. You get it in Portuguese, like Jode. Um, and in various other languages, it'll show up. You get it in German, Machen. That's that sound there where the back of your tongue is pressing and releasing. Uh, but if it gets just a little bit closer, it's a different sound. So that's that. All right. And uh, so you can play around with the manner in different places, right? And then the other thing, the third feature of a consonant sound is uh, the voicing. So when your voice box is vibrating, your voice box, your vocal folds are at the top of your trachea here. And it's basically two folds that come together and start to kind of undulate and vibrate. And then when they vibrate fast, I get a higher pitch sound. And when they vibrate slow, I get a lower pitch sound. And when I pull them apart so they don't vibrate at all, then it's like I'm whispering. There's no vibration, right? So that's how voicing works. You can play around with that here on the app with this box here. Uh, I move the pitch up this way, pitch down this way, and I can start to turn the voicing off entirely by going down this way. We'll see how it goes. Now it's just air. It's just air. And if I leave it here, there's voiceless consonant sounds I can make. So if this is my ga ga ga, now I should be getting a K sound. Ka ka ka. Hear that? So it's ka ka. Now it's a K. And if this is a ba ba ba, now it should be a p p p, a P sound. Hear that? Pa 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 pa. So. Turn that off. Um, I just saw his pitch wobble. I wonder if that's what makes this guy sound so weird. So let me just try uh, it. Uh, 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 All right. That makes him sound less weird to me. I always like to see if I can like play musical instruments, like random musical instruments. I feel like I can make this guy sing a song right now. Let's try it out real quick. Uh, oh. Marvelous, marvelous, beautiful, beautiful pink trombone, man. Uh, cool. So I think I've played around with this enough. Click around. Let me know what you find here. 
I guess you can also turn on nasal vowels here. Ah, okay, cool. So I'm gonna try this real quick. One last thing I'll show you for vowels is that when you open up this part here called the velum and you allow airflow to pass through your nose, then that's what gives you a nasal vowel. So right now he's blocking it where he's making an oral vowel, but if I click on nasal, it'll allow the airflow to go through. So what's a good word? So if I say the um, all sound, like from awesome, and then I add nasality to it, I'll get the on in French from bon, all right? That's my theory. Let's see if it works. So the all should be here. Let's see if that works. Oh. Right, let's get a little bit more, a little bit less uh, excited. Oh. Now I nasalize it. That's better. I hear that more clearly. So if you learn Portuguese, if you learn Portuguese, the word for yes in Portuguese is sim. Sim. All right, which is a s e, but the e vowel is nasalized. So if I have an e sound like this, but then I open up my soft palate, this thing relaxes so airflow can go through it. I have the e sound like this. All right, cool. So I think that's good enough for now. Just wanted to walk you through this interesting thing. Thank you for the person who sent this to us. If you find any really cool technologies, applications, resources that you want to share with us, you want me to talk about in a video, please send. If you enjoyed this video, like it. Um, if you have any questions on how this works or pronunciation or language in general, please ask in the comments. Also, let me know if you want me to make a video on something else. Share it in the comments. And finally, if you can, subscribe. We're trying to get to 10K subscribers and making more videos now. Um, educating and entertaining, hopefully, as well. Uh, I'm going to sign off now because I'm really encouraged. I want to see if I can get this guy to sing, and I'm going to harmonize with him. If it's very terrible, then you can just leave this video right now. Just I'll say goodbye for now. Thank you, and enjoy this, this uh, serenade. Yeah.